So another thing which was highly requested is how to do page previous and page next on two modules with two utility buttons to cycle through like go back, go forth uh, on the different modules or use this on two buttons to go back or go forth. So let's see this example on the buttons. The same thing could be applied to the utility buttons as well. The utility event is under system events and there the utility. You would have, you would need two modules for this cycle back and forth. But let's see the buttons first. Now we have some page change configurations already on the module and all of the pages have some kind of configuration. So first clear all of the pages. The clear is only related to the actively selected page. So clear isn't a global setting, it just clears the actual, uh, actual page from the interconnected modules. So let's revert back and now go back to page zero. Okay, this button will be page previous and this will be page next. So remove this MIDI and add in a press release block. We could do that, but for this time we are going to use this if block and check on self button state. If it's pressed, then it's higher than zero. And there we will use a code block. And uh, this will spare us some characters for longer configurations, but I just wanted to do this uh, a bit differently this time. We are using the page load function again because we want to lay load some uh, something, which will be the page previous value. The page previous is a helper function. It uh, helps us to know which page we need to load uh, as a previous page. So we assign this uh, page previous value as the parameter for the page load function. And now I'm going to use a very similar config on the next button, which will be the paste uh, the page next button, I'm pasting this here, and this we are call page next, okay, and store it. So I come here, and it's the page next, but now nothing happens as on this page there is nothing uh, configured for now, and this doesn't do anything either. So go to here and if I press this, it will load in the page um, previous, which will be the last page currently because from zero, it will go to the third. Okay, we are going to come here and yeah, basically copy paste to on page zero, the same thing remove, paste, this is page previous, and the next button, remove, paste, this will be page next. I could make a profile from the first uh, configuration and load it to the other pages, but I'm just doing this now manually, and uh, Next one is loaded, remove. I already have stuff on my clipboard. Pay attention that this is page next. And this one is page previous. Store. And the last page is left. And this is page previous. Yes, and this one is page next. Yeah, making a profile out of this is uh, faster and copying that to each of the pages. But then again, this is also doable right here. And now, yeah, this doesn't work, but this one will work. And now here I'm cycling upward and backward. 
that's how you change pages going up or down and uh, this could be also used this page previous and page next function again on the utility part of two modules so one module is going is calling page next the other module is calling page previous so yeah you could also limit the page changes like have only uh, zero and one active if you put in um, a modulo calculation like uh, if page current oh I don't need parentheses here if page current is less than less than uh, two then do this and otherwise do nothing I think I can yeah I would need to configure this everywhere because if page current is less than two then page load page previous but yeah this will just load the previous because no it doesn't oh because i have configured it on the third page so this if condition turns out to be false because the current page is the third page so it doesn't go backwards doesn't call the page previous function it uh, would call it if it were on page one and uh, yeah you can have an if condition to differentiate um, and and make some uh, extra configurations if you don't want to cycle through all of the pages that's it about pages for now i hope you learned something and uh, yeah we have checked out how an encoder can be used to uh, change pages a single encoder or the previous and the next functions uh, how those can be used on two buttons and also to assign to each of the buttons uh, specifically each of the page changes and uh, yeah we have checked out in the meantime a couple of things so i hope you learned something here and uh, see you in the next video bye